Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you guys how to use the educational website Class Dojo. Class Dojo is a communication website and app that allows teachers to keep track of behavior management within the classroom, and then this information can be shared with the student's parents. This website is a really good method of positive reinforcement of good behavior within the classroom. So to get to the website, you'll just go to your search bar and type in classdojo.com, which I already did. And then it will ask you to sign up or log in, but I'm just going to assume that you've already signed up. It's a really, really easy process. It doesn't take long. So I'm just going to hit this login button. And it will ask me to log in as a teacher, a student, um, a parent, or a school leader. I'm going to hit teacher. And then you just enter your account information. And then it's going to take you to your home page. If I was in an actual school or an actual classroom, I would hit the select school button and that would enable me to connect with all of the other teachers in my school that use Class Dojo. But I'm just going to scroll down and here you can see my classes. If I wanted to add a class, I would hit this gray button and it'll bring up a bunch of random schools that I can select, but I'm not in a school to connect with. So I'm going to hit this, I'm not in a school button. And then I can type in my class name, uh, whatever year it is, but I already have an example made, so I'm going to hit cancel. And then I'm just going to scroll down to my example. So here I have my kindergarten class of 17 students, so I'm just going to click on that. And it'll bring me to my page where I have all of my students' names and then their points and what the whole class has. So the whole class right now has 27 points. So basically teachers can use this website as a motivator or a motivator so if I set a goal for 50 points for the day the student will feel motivated to earn those 50 points and if they earn it you can say that they can have five minutes of extra recess the next day or if they meet a certain goal all week they can have a movie day next week so basically the reward system with their good behavior positively reinforces that good behavior so these are all my students if I wanted to add a student I would hit this gray cross and I'm just going to add a student named John N. I'm going to hit add. It'll create a little character for him. And I'll hit save and it'll automatically add him to my class. So when I want to reward points, I'm just going to click on John's name because he's new. And here are my points. So there's positive and then there's needs work. So I'm going to say that I'm going to give him a point for helping others. And it'll notify him, it'll come up on the classroom, and then the whole class now has 28 points. So let's say Luke over here is off task, so I'm going to click on his name. I'm going to hit the Needs Work tab, and I'm going to hit Off Task. It'll take away a point from him, and it'll take away a point for the whole class. So if I wanted to add a skill, I'm going to click on Luke's name. I'm going to hit this Edit Skills button, Add Skill. And I'm just going to create a random skill, being nice. And then there's point weights. So if I wanted to change the point value, so I'll make it two points. I'll hit save. And now that is added in my area of the positive skills that I can reward them for. Okay, so now I can also organize my student into groups. So I'm going to hit this group button. And I have them organized by tables. So if I wanted to add a table, I'd click the cross, I'd add a name, so let's just say table 5. And then I'll click whatever students I want at table 5, create group, and now my group is added. So if I wanted to reward an entire group for being good or bad, I would hit the table for award group and then either reward them for good behavior or take away points for bad behavior. So let's say they're being disruptive. So I will say off task, and they will get no point for that day. So now over here, I have this view report button. And on that, it basically shows the teacher what each student point value is that day, and then how the entire class is doing. Something else that I think is really nice is that you can actually take attendance with this website. So over here is the attendance button. And today, I just have it for Tuesday. I'm going to click on that. And this shows all of your students in that class. And let's say Jane E. I'm going to click on her name. And there's present, late, left early, or absent. I'm just going to make her absent. And save and close. I'm going to exit out of this. 
go to my students and you'll be able to see that Jane is gray, just like Kirsten. So that means that I can't award them points accidentally or take away points accidentally because they are absent. And then whenever they come back, I can re-add them as being present and they will be added back to the group. So I'm gonna go up here to stories. And this is basically my public forum where I can add a post where all of the parents will be notified of what's going on in the classroom. So this is completely public. So this is where I would add my post. And then up here in messages, this is the more private aspect of the website. So if I wanted to email a particular parent about their uh, child's behavior, I would go here, I would say my message, and then I would send it. And only that parent get the message. It's not public. The whole class can't see it. So that's basically the general gist of Class Dojo. Over here are your settings, and then up here are your account settings. Thank you for watching.